Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. So glad to have you with us. I am working on the January creative prompts. This month is almost over. Can you believe it? Just a few more days and I'll be done with this month and we'll move on to the next month. I'm not sure if I will do a daily video for February yet. It kind of depends upon how much I can get done in the next couple of days and then we will go from there. So today for the January 27th creative prompt, use fabric scraps to create something for or on your journal page. Write about a blessing you received recently. Now do know you can go down below in the description box and you can join us in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. We definitely would love for you to take a picture after you have completed the prompt so that you can inspire others and then take a look at what others have done and be inspired yourself. So I've picked out a few scraps of things that I had here in my stash. These are sorry silks that I have received from Safia, Safia, Safia from Dust Fairy. She's in India and she sent me some beautiful fabrics and I thought these would be great to use on my journal page. And then I've also got some other little pieces. This was a scrap of black paper. And then this is one of those little tear off notepads. It was already decorated and I thought red, black, it all kinds of goes together. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got this fabric and I think I want to put it down the side here and maybe put this piece across that way. Then I've got this little piece. I don't even, I think I'm just going to use it the way it is size wise and paste that right here in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these two pieces down and then we'll glue the other pieces down. I may have a couple other items that I may add as well. I'm just going to use some Maline's Tacky Glue and what I'm going to do is just basically make some little dots down the sides of the fabric and up again and then right down the middle and then I'm going to press this into place. My foundation is a page out of a family Bible. I pick them up whenever our city has what we call the Friends of the Metropolitan Library book sale. So I love picking up these great big books so I can use them in my journals like this. All right, I got that down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this piece, same fashion. There's holes at the top of the page up here and I have a little bit of washi tape. So I think what I wanna do is kind of cover that up and it'll also add another little element. So I'm just going to grab this washi tape. I'm going to try to slip it under the fabric just a little bit here. And when you're, if you put washi tape down, don't pull it really tight. Just gently pull it, let it lay down slowly. Because if you pull it really tight, it will curl your page because it's under tension. All right, so I got that across there. I think that looks pretty good. And I know I want to put this piece in here. I think I need to add some distress inks to this page. So I'm going to use walnut stain and go around the edge. I'm going to put that right in the middle here. So I'm going to glue these together. Now here's where if you wanted an additional tuck spot or a pocket, you don't have to glue this completely down like I'm doing. You could choose to only put glue on certain sides of it so that it become a pocket on your page. And there's a little space down here. Since we have the washi tip up there, I'm going to put a little bit down here in this area. So it kind of brings that together. I think it kind of frames that really nice. I love this fabric from Sophia. I'm so glad that I got some from her. She has a Facebook page where you can go in and choose a bundle. She usually has a bundle number and a price and you, they sell out really fast. So you want to make sure that you like her page and watch it in order to get the bundle that you want. All right, so now let me write my blessing. Let's see what, what a blessing I received recently. So I'm going to write that on there and then I'll come right back. So again, for today's journal prompt, you're to use fabric. So somehow use fabric. You can go back and watch some of my other tutorials. You could make a tag like I did with this bookmark. You could cut strips and let that be your tie on a tag. However you want to use some fabric, use some fabric like I did here. And then let's write about a blessing that has happened recently. And for me, my friend Beverly blessed me recently by helping with tearing apart four giant books and grouping the pages so I could use these in my next subscription box. She is a wonderful friend and I am blessed to have her in my life. Thank you, Beverly. 
For those of y'all that don't know, I have a subscription box that I offer. In 2020, it's what, four times a year that they're sent out, but I have to prep all of the items and I make a hundred kits. So I have to tear apart books. I have to go find those books. I have to cut up ribbons and fibers and laces and just, you know, find the little components and put those in little baggies. And so she helped me tremendously. And I am so thankful for her by taking some books for me. And while she was watching TV, she ripped those pages and then she took the groupings and folded them together. So they're all ready for me to put in the kit. And I am so blessed to have her. Again, I hope you enjoyed the journal prompts, that you'll check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, that you'll check the other social media connectors that I have, which are Instagram and Twitter, and of course, Patreon, as well as Pinterest. I do pin things on Pinterest. Sometimes they're not just mine, so follow my boards and you'll see some fun things that I share. I don't share like recipes and that kind of stuff. I all stay around in the paper crafting world, if you will. Alrighty, what else? I think that's about it. Like, comment, subscribe, and of course, share this video if you were inspired to create. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.